Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, just tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, and today we're talking about savings. I think all of us these days are looking for an opportunity to be able to save, but especially when it comes to seniors and those living with disabilities, you may want to make sure that you're getting the most out of your plans that you have, especially when it comes to Medicare. Well, that's why we're excited about today's segment. The Medicare annual election period is going on. We're going to talk to Caroline Coates today of Humana. She's going to talk to us not only about what you need to know, but also even if you have a plan, why you may want to look to make sure that you're getting uh, the most that you can get for your money as well. If you all are looking for more information about where you guys can go to sign up, we'll let you know that as well. But Caroline, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you. Yeah, this is an important topic because, as I mentioned, people are looking for not only savings, but also making sure that they're getting the most out of what they already have. So when it comes to the Medicare annual election period, Caroline, when is it taking place this year? What are the deadlines? It started Saturday, October 15th, and it goes through December 7th. So that is the annual enrollment period window to to shop and make your selection. Caroline, we hear so many different, especially if people are listening to the radio like our program or watching television, they hear about Medicare. They hear about Medicare Advantage. Tell us about the differences, if you don't mind, between Medicare Advantage and original Medicare and why it's so important for people to evaluate their options. Of course, and I understand it is confusing, so I'll try to help simplify a little bit. Original Medicare is really uh, covers what we know as our Medicare Part A is really hospital insurance, home health, a skilled nursing facility, and Part B, which is known as medical insurance, more the physician and outpatient. It is, there is no prescription drug coverage under that. Medicare Advantage is offered by plans like Humana and other private insurers. This is known as Part C. So it includes the A and B that I mentioned, but also other things like prescription drugs, transportation, dental, vision, hearing, perhaps some um, visa-like cards that have money on them that you can use to buy healthy food or even apply toward your utilities. So a lot of other services that we call supplemental benefits under that Part C Medicare Advantage type plan. And I can speak personally, uh, Caroline, you don't know this, but my grandmother, um, Humana was was her insurance of choice, and that really was a big help for us to be able to get everything covered uh, under one place. So I can personally speak to uh, the benefits there. So for our audience, you mentioned Medicare Advantage. So what should they keep in mind then, Caroline, when it comes to choosing their plan? Yeah, I try to think of it as kind of the three C's, cost coverage and convenience. So cost is obviously very important. We're all met with some inflation challenges right now. So look at what what are the different plans look like for your monthly premiums if there is one, drug coverage, uh, drug cost, and coverage. Is the doc you want, the hospital, different services, are they in the network? And convenience. You may need things like transportation or that fitness benefit or that social service benefit that allows someone to come to the house and help with some chores or get, provide that social interaction. So those are kind of the three, the three buckets, a lot of different plans, a lot of different options, and a lot of good services that address our needs outside of the doctor's office. Caroline, people, you know, one of the things that we've heard, and even I've heard it referred to uh, as the enrollment period. So people do think, okay, if I already have a plan, is this something I have to do annually? Do I have to re-enroll? So do our audience really have to re-enroll if they already have Medicare Advantage? They don't have to re-enroll. If they don't, they'll stay on with the plan they're on, but there will likely be benefit changes on that plan that they'll want to know about and make sure they still meet the healthcare needs that they are experiencing. So I highly encourage everyone to to look at the options that are out there during that window, October 15th to December 7th, and look at your current healthcare needs. Does the plan you're on still make sense for you? 
and or are there other plans that may be offering some benefit options that meet your needs? So it's highly encouraged to, to revisit your plan annually. Well, Carolyn, as I mentioned, you're here with Humana, so I have to ask you, talk to us about Humana's Medicare Advantage plans. What makes it unique? Yeah, thanks for the question. Well, one, we spent a lot of time this last year, probably more than ever, really listening to our members' needs, and we tried to pivot and invest a little differently. So we went pretty deep this year in dental coverage. We heard that as a number one priority for our members. I think many of us can't really anticipate our clinical needs, but we all, we all know we need dental care, and, and oral health is such a big part of our overall physical health. Um, we have a new Humana spending account card. I'll just you know, name a, a couple of things here that includes a healthy options allowance. I had mentioned it, it has some dollars on there that you can apply toward groceries and rent, uh, supplies and more, some flex allowance amounts that can be used toward out-of-pocket costs for things like dental and vision or perhaps some hearing devices and other over-the-counter allowance types op, uh, type options. Transportation, a, a significant focus on preventative care, so a, a lot out there that is exciting for this annual enrollment period. All right, gives us some great information there. Again, everyone, Caroline Coates has been our guest with Humana, walking you guys through what you need to know about this year's Medicare annual election period, when it starts, when it ends, so definitely don't wait. So, Caroline, where can our audience go for more information? Yes, um, you can go to Medicare.gov to to get some overall information or Humana.com for Humana-specific plan information, which will also include some phone numbers if you want to schedule a one-on-one with a licensed sales agent and go over your unique needs. Awesome. Carolyn, thank you so much for the work that you all are doing, but also for the time today and looking forward to speaking with you again. All right. Thank you. More than welcome. We thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of a News You Can Use segment here at WYAD. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.